This committee is made up of the police commissioner, the chief public health officer and the chief executives of the Premier Health, Treasury and Trade Departments. Their job, as you said, is to plot a return to normalcy for the state, but their key role will be deciding what restrictions are lifted and when. Now, we have heard from the Premier. This will be a balancing act. The state is looking to uh, limit the economic blow as best it can at this point, while also considering the health risk and the risk to the public. When we look to ease the restrictions, obviously we have to be firmly focused on the health risks, but we've also got to pay attention to both the social and the economic implications. These restrictions that have been put in place have had a very heavy penalty uh, on many people's freedom and also many people's ability to earn an income. So every one of the restrictions that have been put in place have been agonised over to make sure that we are not going further than what we need to. Uh, now, of course, we have to go in the opposite uh, direction. Now, the committee will be looking to first lift restrictions around activities with a limited risk to the public. The Chief Public Health Officer has previously hinted this will be outdoor activities like school sport and travel to regional areas. But we have heard over the past day that restrictions around uh, funerals, how many people can attend funerals, will also be among the first lifted because of the emotional and sentimental uh, circumstances there. But we have heard from the Police Commissioner he is concerned about lifting too many restrictions too quickly. Decisions about what activities um, may be relaxed will be taken on advice from a range of different sources to make sure that we're making informed decisions and that will then eventuate in seeing further relaxations on the sorts of things that the community uh, are looking forward to as a result of the excellent work that's happened in South Australia. Restrictions may be put back in place if we find that we do have an outbreak. Um, but that is not the preferred way to go. Uh, we want to be able to carefully release these um, measures so that we don't have to go backwards. Now we had Emily repatriated Australians under quarantine in Adelaide. Sorry, go ahead. We have been told uh, there will be a clear path out of the situation released by this week. Some of those first restrictions uh, could even be lifted as soon as Friday. But as for returning to pubs and restaurants, that is still some time away, Annalise. Thank you. And sorry to interrupt you there before, but we were keen to hear about those repatriated Australians under quarantine in Adelaide. They're going to be leaving lockdown soon. That's right. Uh, close to 400 Australians are leaving this hotel, the Pullman Hotel, behind me today. Uh, they are from the first of two Mercy flights that arrived from India to Adelaide a fortnight ago. Another close to 400 passengers from the second flight are staying at a different hotel. Uh, they will be leaving as well. No one from either flight has tested positive to coronavirus, fortunately, and that's despite constant uh, health checkups throughout their stays. Uh, South Australia has recorded now 11 consecutive days with no new coronavirus cases. The state total is 438, but only seven cases remain active and no one is in intensive care.